With Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 pushing ahead, I trust Zendaya's MJ isn't in the Wonder Realistic Universe film for an extremely straightforward story reason. MJ's part in Holland's Spider-Man motion pictures is vital. The person was more shut off in Spider-Man Homecoming, while the following two Spider-Man motion pictures gradually saw her and Holland's Peter Parker experience passionate feelings for and enter a relationship. I delighted in how the romance between the two worked out and think MJ is the second best Spider-Man romantic interest in True to Life, behind Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy from Andrew Garfield's The Astounding Spider-Man Film Establishment. In any case, I'm persuaded that it is the ideal opportunity for the MCU Spider-Man establishment to move somewhere new. After quite a while with few updates because of defers brought about by 2023's Hollywood strikes, the MCU Spider-Man 4 is at long last pushing ahead. The task is supposedly planning to go before cameras in mid-2025, which would situate the following Spider-Man film to show up in 2026, five years after Spider-Man. No chance home. That movie set up a potential new section of the establishment for Spider-Man 4 Chief Dustin Daniel Cretton to investigate, and I don't believe Zendaya's MJ fits with it. Up to this point, Spider-Man 4's cast presently can't seem to be declared. Since the arrangement is for the film to begin shooting in mid-2025, projecting reports are supposed to show up from this point until the year's end. One of the uncovered stars of the film ought to be Zendaya, getting back to the MCU establishment as MJ. While covering Destin Daniel Cretton being decided to steerage Spider-Man 4, cutoff time uncovered that arrangements are being shut for Tom Holland to return as Spider-Man and Zendaya to return as MJ. As per cutoff time, the two stars have been important for Spider-Man 4's advancement interaction. In light of the report, the declaration that Zendaya's MJ will be in Spider-Man 4 seems like just a question of time. While I play partook in her part in the MCU up to this point, I don't think the star returning for this new section of the Spider-Man establishment is the most ideal decision. That thought doesn't have anything to do with Zendaya's acting skill. The star plays displayed in numerous parts that she is the genuine article, with happiness and rich, section two being extraordinary instances of Zendaya's reach. I basically don't have any desire to see MJ return Spider-Man for for story reasons. The principal reason I don't figure Zendaya ought to return as MJ in Spider-Man 4 is on the grounds that it would conflict with Spider-Man. Absolutely no chance Holmes piercing closure. That film had one of the most sad finales out of all Spider-Man motion pictures, and the MCU the same. Specialist Bizarre Spell made every individual who realized that Peter Parker was Spider-Man return to their separate universes, making all characters fail to remember who Peter Parker was. I was devastated to see Holland's Peter alone, with Zendaya's MJ, Jacob Badalin's Ned Leeds, and John Favreau's cheerful Hogan not recollecting that him. Peter let MJ know that he would uncover everything to her after Specialist Weird Spell and cause her to recollect him. In any case, after seeing her content with her life and seeing she had an injury from Spider-Man, not a chance Holmes last fight, the legend chooses not to advise her or Ned to guard them. That is the most Spider-Man-like decision I accept Peter Parker might have made in that. Going into Spider-Man 4, Annie Mae is dead, nobody recalls what his identity is, and Peter lives alone in a little condo, being at his most reduced in the MCU. Nonetheless, Zendaya's return as MJ in Spider-Man 4 would fix that. I need to see the MCU completely investigate what this new reality could resemble for Peter Parker. With MJ there, Peter wouldn't have the option to continue on, nor would the actual establishment. Spider-Man. No Chance Holmes' closure was so genuinely charged in enormous part since it appeared to put a last highlight that variant of the establishment. Peter made a very troublesome penance by letting MJ go. However, it doesn't seem like the MCU is prepared to settle on that equivalent choice. I thought Spider-Man. No Chance Holmes set up the ideal chance for the MCU to investigate a portion of different romances Peter Parker has had all through his Wonder Comics history. In the wake of learning of Gwen Stacy through Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, the person would be a fascinating one to see spring up in Spider-Man 4. All things considered, Gwen and Peter initially met in school in the comics, which could be the way they meet up in the MCU. Another significant old flame Spider-Man 4 could utilize is Dark Feline, who I think would be ideal for the film. The justification behind that has to do with Peter's choice not to enlighten MJ concerning their past. 
He didn't do it since he maintained that her should be protected. Indeed, Dark Feline carries on with the very perilous life that Spider-Man does and leaves fine and dandy. Thusly, I figure Felicia Tuff could be the adoration interest that best matches Peter Parker in his ongoing circumstance. With the X-Men's MCU reboot approaching, Kitty Pride could make a big appearance in Spider-Man 4, hitting a romance with Peter and setting up her future experiences. Characters like Silk and Silver Sable would likewise be intriguing.